Today is September 17th, uh, trade recap for the day. Guess I should have cleared my throat before I started this video. <clears throat> um, a good day today, but a lot of d dumb luck, mostly, and misplays, but... You know, I had a couple red days, made it all back today, so I'm happy. I can't complain. Uh, first trade was ITCI, which is kind of embarrassing. Now, yesterday I went on and on about how I would follow my plan. My plan was to buy this on dips uh, at 50-50 and, you know, hold it into some sort of rip. Now, let me <laughs> really gotta zoom in to show my massive 50 cents a share I got on this, but, um, you know, I went in small, but I, I just, it had so much range that I, I freaked out. I mean, I, I, I should have had this stop at, uh, green to red. I mean, look at that nice little line. I entered, it bounced, and then, you know, all day, and it's still going now. I, the mistake I made was I should have, realized how much range it had and not been freaked out by that. Now, you see I enter and I mean it drops like a dollar and then shoots right back. Because of the fact that I'd misread the range, I was like, holy shit, I got 50 cents about. So that was a misplay. Uh, I liked that the idea was good. I mean, I mean, I nailed it basically, but you know, what do you do? I, I, I made a mistake. You know, it, it was a profitable mistake, so it's tough to complain, but I did make a mistake. Uh, fit was, you know, okay. Uh, I, I wanted this at 40, so I didn't enter here, and then it fades all day. I think, you know, this is right about noon. I think the market was pretty weak. So I had a, I put on a starter at, at right about at 38 because I thought it was going to pull through and maybe go red on the day. It didn't let it grind me up. I, I, I had a hard stop at this previous uh, high in the morning, added there to make it work, and then I covered when it when it pulled back and small profit. But you know, again, I, I, I if I this is what I bitched about the last couple days. If I wanted it at 40, why am I shorting it at 38? I should have just left it be. But again, I'll take a little dumb luck there. Kenneth, uh, may again, made money. And again, a puny scalp. I, uh, uh, the, the thought was, again, that, you know, there was like this kind of triple top in the 250s. Looked like it was going to fade. So I shorted it, but with a ridiculously tight stop, it pulled a little bit and then didn't crack 220 so I covered because I'm like the, the the plan was if it goes through 220 then it's gonna free fall it didn't so I covered so I don't know 100 bucks I made but I followed the plan and that's all that matters I I, I, I traded it for a crack it didn't crack I covered look what I would have endured had I not done that now my goal plan was to short at three, three dollars. Now it's, it, I mean, it's ten to four now. I'm not shorting this, but I mean, this is probably primary watch for tomorrow. Ideally, I mean, it gaps and and all the idiots like me that shorted but didn't cover get squeezed out, and then it's payday. So, uh, even though it was a puny scalp, I call that a. I mean, I give that like a B plus trade because I I followed my plan. ADXS was the funniest one of the day. Uh, again, I basically followed the plan. I, I, I was gonna, sh I wanted to short at this twenty level, and I was willing to let it squeeze me a little bit because I knew there was this presentation coming. I was assuming that it was going to be bad news. Now I never had any size. I shorted here. At twenty fifty, I added when it had put in a top at twenty one fifty. I think I added it. Well, I can zoom in and um, so 2130, maybe something like that. So um, and then it, it, it pulled and the, the the biggest dilemma was this was it was they had their meeting at two o'clock, which was the same as the Fed announcement. So this thing was jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. I had my finger on the trigger. I was going to cover. I mean, if it spiked at all, like 20, back to even. 
uh, you know, 2120s, 2130s in there. I'm out. I'm done. But, you know, I covered into this poll, and then, I mean, it's pretty embarrassing uh, that, I mean, look, look at that. I mean, look at that death drop down to 14. So, now, in hindsight, I mean, it was a pretty, it was a nice profit. I'm not complaining, but, I mean, the bounce was off, off the hook, and, I mean, you can see here's all these shorts got squeezed out, and then it's fading. I mean, the thing will probably, I mean, ultimately, it's going to end up working. Look at, I mean, I say I held through this mess, which would have been no way. I mean, I mean, it's now at 1960, I covered at 20, but you know, it was, I knew the, the data was coming. I was small size. It's, you know, it's a crap shoot. I mean, yeah, it dropped to 14 and got halted, but the data could have been good and it could have been went to 30. So I'll take that. And, you know, I don't like trades like that where it's, basically a flip of the coin but you know I stuff was working I put on a small size and it, and it paid now my exit was terrible but a good, a good day today I mean I, I stuck to the plan uh, I did I, I, ref, I, I did not get squeezed on anything um, and I managed trades well so solid day and thanks for watching